Welcome to the comic book guys. Um, you're speaking with Phil, Hayden, and Steve. Um, welcome. So today we are talking about the Star Wars saga. This is episode one. It's awesome. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, now, Steve, how are you going, mate? I'm doing really well. Thank you very much. We're uh, we, yeah. we're going great guns in Wales. That's amazing. And Hayden, how are you going, mate? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Quick question. I didn't ask this last time, but are you guys, how are you with like lockdown stuff? Are you guys still in lockdown or are you out? Are you free? No, we, we've we we've become free from Sunday. So we've we've had five nice. days of freedom. Woo! Wow. But Gotta watch Braveheart we're now. to leave Wales. You, we can't go into England because England's on a lockdown for a month. <laughs> gotcha. What about you, Phil? Uh, we're free. So I painted my face and rode on a horse and put <laughs> it. <laughs> they, they cannot take our freedom. <laughs> Dude, there you go. Um, so, yeah, no, I've been good. Everything's been good on my end. So it's been great. So um, it's good to record and. Um, as we mentioned before, before warming up, um, you know, it's going to be so funny. Um, I wonder how the Star Wars fans will watch this. Will they be so criticized or will they love us? Either way, if they hate us, we can turn to the dark side. But, hey, I'm excited to talk about this. So <laughs> let's jump on board. So um, we're going to talk about all the films. Got a few questions. You know, if, if you know an interesting fact that, um, that comes to mind, yeah, say it. It would be great. So now starting with A New Hope. Um, so Steve, I got two questions for you. Who was your favorite moment in the film and who was your favorite character? Um, my favorite moment was the, the opening credits because, oh, uh, nice. unlike you two, uh, young, young ones, uh, young part <laughs> ones, um, <laughs> I was old enough to, to go and see the, the film the first time around and, uh, and and there was just nothing like it. We, we you normally get a, a, a minute of credits and then into the film, and there was this great big speech that uh, that sort of appeared on the screen, and uh, my my dad is by the side of me merrily reading it because I couldn't read it at that time. <laughs> um, and and besides that, I'm dyslexic, so I was like. Well, I, I'd have got about the first three lines and then, then forgotten about it. But my dad was merrily reading it to me by, by the side of me. And uh, it, it was it was just immense. It, it, the whole thing was was uh, quite spectacular. And, uh, and as for my favourite character, I think I'd go with Chewbacca. Um, because... Uh, I love Chewie. Chew, Chewie's sort of the... the the Groot of his day, because because yes. every 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 answer was ah! <laughs> I can't do the voice, but uh, you know what I mean. Ah! Yeah, no, no, <laughs> I do, I, I do understand. I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wow. You know what's funny? Are you gonna I get finish? killed? <laughs> yeah, this, 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 this every time I finish, my wife. <laughs> um, yeah, every time I finish, my wife's like. Why did you say that? I'm like, because it's funny. She goes, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Anyway, Savage. Yeah, that was awesome. Good answers, um, Steve. And um, so iconic. Um, so Hayden, um, A New Hope, who was your favorite? No, like, sorry. What was your favorite moment in the film? And who was your favorite character in the movie? Favorite moment was when um, Han... Luke and Leia break into the Death Star and when they just wipe out a whole room full of clones and then all of a sudden they get a radio transmission from one of the I think like operators or whoever it was and they're asking if everything's all right and so Han clicks out and he says yeah we're all right how how are you like that's like that part just kills me every time like just because it's so silly and like I'm pretty sure it was improv 
by Harrison Ford. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. But that part was definitely my favorite um, moment because I think it shows like the lightheartedness of Star Wars without making it like a funny, campy movie. Like it's not like a yeah. it's not like a dumb, silly movie, but there's enough in there that it's like, oh, like that that was funny, but it also doesn't take you out of it either. And I thought that it was just a great moment. That whole movie's great, but I think that was a great moment. And then favorite character got to be Darth Vader because I mean he's just so cool. James Earl Jones, come on! And every time he shows up on screen, you're like waiting for him to kill somebody. Basically, <laughs> like you're just wondering who he's gonna choke out now because he's always just like left and right. It feels like just doing his force chokes and stuff. But I I love especially like I love his look when you very when you very first meet him at the beginning of the movie when he all the rebels are getting ready and you there's this sense of dread. And you know something's coming, and all of a sudden it opens up, and all of the clones come out. But then all of a sudden, like Darth Vader comes walking out, and it's like, oh, so good, so good. Yeah, it's so good. such an amazing definition between all all the white clones, and then there's Vader in black, and he's yes, all black, and he's head and shoulders above everybody else. He's and he's, he's got phenomenal. It, yeah, and the cool thing about A New Hope is his eyes are red in A New Hope. Like, they have these, like, red um, filter-type eyes. that they, they go away in the later movies, but it's really cool to see because it's, like, it's almost, like, more menacing because you get to see this cool red look. To it, It's not, like, bright red, but it's only on close-ups you can really tell. But it's just yeah. it's just so cool. He's the man. Yeah. Did, Amazing, did, man. Did you know that um, Dave Prowse, who was the guy who... Um, uh, who was the the body of Darth Vader? Didn't know that uh, all of his lines were being said by James Earl Jones until the premiere. And uh, oh, I I I know Dave, and we've known each other for twenty odd years. Um, nice drop in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, Dave was absolutely furious because. Dave spoke all the lines and they were recorded. So somewhere there's a recording of this Bristolian who who, who was saying all these all, all these um, daft lines that Darth Vader is saying. Um, but uh, he he wasn't actually told that James Earl Jones had uh, uh, had revoiced everything. So he was furious. <laughs> Well, um, I'll tell you an interesting fact about the film. Um, James Earl Jones actually um, agreed to do the film, but he thought it was going to be a disaster. So he asked um, for his name to not be in the credits. Yeah. But due to the success of the film, he actually had to tell George Lucas to put his name back in. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. He was... Uh, yeah, so... The... Um, uh, what's the the guy that played um, Obi Wan? Yeah, uh, he he was um, under the under the the impression that it was going to be a complete flop as well, uh, and and he just did it for the for the money, and he was he was criticizing it all the way through, and then then he he got more. Uh, accolades for for doing Star Wars than any other film that he'd ever done. That's insane. Incredible. Um, so, A New Hope for me, my favorite moment in the film. I come to think about it, there was two moments. Like you know, I think when Luke met Obi Wan, I think that was iconic. Like how um, when Obi Wan was actually watching over Luke that whole time, keeping an eye on him, and it's like like such a protection thing that Luke had um, from Obi-Wan and the mentorship um, relationship that they built. Even um, when, he, when he died, he still had that relationship with Obi-Wan. Um, but I love when my favourite actual moment in the film was when uh, Han Solo came in and when they met Han um, and just the relationship they all had with him, it was just like, the space cowboy kind of thing to him. And, you know, when Luke was saying, what is this piece of junk to the Millennium Falcon? I think that was absolutely great. But I would say my ca favorite character in the film would be, I don't know, I have to give it to Han Solo. I don't know, just got that space cowboy thing to him. So cool. Just, you know, 
do what I want kind of thing. It was awesome. So, Can I ask you like, a question real quick? Do you think that you would have liked Han Solo as much if it wasn't Harrison Ford? Or do you think Harrison Ford is Han Solo? Harrison Ford is Han Solo. If they got someone else, the film wouldn't have been as good. No. I agree. No. I, I totally agree. And and Harrison Ford wasn't that big an actor at the time um, compared to some of the other actors. And uh, and I, I think he was the perfect choice. I, I, I think, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That was awesome. So um, now going to Empire Strikes Back. Woo! So one of my favorite Star Wars films. It's amazing. Love it. So now kick it off with Steve. Steve, what was your favorite moment in the film and who was your favorite character? Favorite character is... There we go. There we go. Oh, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> uh, your favorite character, uh, Kermit the uh, Frog. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That was a good one. That was good. Uh, no. I can do good Kermit no, impressions, but no, not Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it is uh, not Kermit the uh, Frog? <laughs> there you go. But wasn't the guy who did Kermit the Frog? Uh, wasn't he the guy who did Yoda? Well, or am I wrong off. on that? Frank am I? Is that? Is he the yeah. same guy? Or... Yeah, Grover. Sorry. Uh, it was the guy who did Grover on Sesame Street. Sorry for. Oh, <laughs> my bad. The my bad. Of... Yeah, the voice. The voice of truth has just struck me down. <laughs> I was you know, uh... that show came. We all know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Larry, next time you come in, put on a Darth Vader voice. That'll be so funny. <laughs> You're like a very disturbing. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, this is so funny. As I mentioned to the start of this video, um, set some fans. I just pictured Larry sitting back going, What are they talking about? <laughs> no. Hey, no, I'm loving this, man. Y'all are doing great. <laughs> I took my son. I mean, you know, I was seven when Star Wars came out, and I've been a fan ever since. You know, so uh, this is right up my alley, man. Y'all doing Dude, great. Okay. Um, no, you join in cool when you've got that... everyone, Larry. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty cool. You know, Darth Vader, man. I like. I, yeah, I love it. I, I come on. I've, I've had the privilege, or I do lots of conventions. I, I actually put them on, um, so I, I've had the privilege of of meeting most of the most of the Star Wars cast. Um, I've met Carrie Fisher and Boba Fett and um, Peter Mayhew and and R two D two. I've got lots of stories of of. Uh, Kenny there you Bader go. There you go. R2D2 getting drunk and, and boop, boop, boop. falling over and things. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I'm going to go back to mute because y'all doing you're doing real good. <laughs> <laughs> he has spoken. Yes. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Larry. our wonderful director, Larry. <laughs> yeah. He puts all this on. Uh, He's great. As, uh, as for my favorite character, who has big ears. Um, is Yoda and Yoda? Oh, sorry, uh, we were getting confused yeah. with him. Sorry, <laughs> can the side track with Kermit the Frog? <laughs> Kermy, um, Kermy. Uh, my my favorite uh, part of the uh, of the film was um, when <clears throat> when Luke and and uh, Yoda you know, were were uh, when Luke was trying to trying to learn the force, and uh, and I I just thought that was a, a a fantastic section when Luke's getting more and more stressed out and he's get, getting further and further away from from the force when all he had to do was relax and chill and 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 use the force and and then Yoda just freaks him out by pulling the the um, the X wing fighter out of the swamp just by raising his hand and it's it's like this guy has got it all. He's he's funny <laughs> and, and 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 he's he's 
mm. got all, all all everything going on. So it, it was really cool. So that's amazing. Uh, just so many amazing things in the film. That was awesome. Um, so Hayden, um, Empire Strikes Back. Your what was your favorite moment in the film, and who was your favorite character? All right, here we go. First of all, I should start by saying Empire is my favorite Star Wars movie of all time. I think it's the best one, and I think it's the best made. And I think, uh, like we talked about earlier, I think it's the best directed movie, and it's the only one that's not directed by George Lucas. It's directed by his mentor from USC, if I'm correct on that. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it is. But if you just look at the shots, they're insane. Like, they're amazing. Like, there's shots, like, from behind icicles, just looking at Han and Leia talking, but it's from behind a, a giant icicle. So like the frame is just framed by these. It's just so cool. I'm a nerd, but uh, <laughs> my favorite moment would be. You are a nerd. That's why you're on your. <laughs> yeah, that's my exactly. only thing going for me. No, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I would say my favorite moment would be the Battle of Hoth. Like that, I know that's not technically a moment, but I would I would count the whole battle as like a giant moment because I like how. It brought it brings back it's still that fun Star Wars action, but it's also that a more serious like battle. And I love the walkers, I love the speeders. I think there's also something so awesome about like watching how like special effects were back then and seeing how they would make these giant models and do these little like explosions and like all this stuff. There's something like so cool about like seeing that movie magic like back before CGI was what it is now. Yeah, and there's something so cool about that, and I just love the <laughs> the speeders, and then like you know, like when they're like wrapping around the walkers, and the walker falls down, like that stuff, like that. Or uh, yeah, I, is it AT AT? Yeah, I think it's yeah. AT. I might get yeah, killed for that if I get that wrong, but like yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's like that's my favorite moment, and my favorite character again would have to be Darth Vader because he's just a boss. He's just the dude, and I think he looks cooler in this one. And my favorite. I think the thing that makes him so awesome is when in cloud city, when Lando uh, betrays the gang, you know, like the whole group and stuff. And they open up the dining hall and Darth Vader is sitting there with his like cup. And he's basically saying like, welcome. Or he says something and it just looks, that shot looks so cool. And he's just sitting there. And when Han goes to shoot him and he literally blocks the blaster with his hand. Oh dude. I mean, come on, come on. He's amazing. I just yeah. geeked out, but man, so good. Yeah. One of the best it's scenes in the movie. Did yes. you did you know that um, we in um, oh, my brain is not working at all. <laughs> um, it's okay, it's happening to me too. Yeah, um, <laughs> but you're a lot younger than me, so there we are. Um, no, don't oh, worry. Sure. <laughs> Gray gray hair is a sign of wisdom. Yeah, yeah, and I've got lots of it. Therefore, I must be wise. Like. Mr. Gandalf, the there you um, go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I got him in. I got him in. But, oh, good. <laughs> um, with uh, Jabba the Hutt, uh, you were saying about um, all the all the different uh, bits that they had to do, and there were actually six guys in Jabba the Hutt. There were six puppeteers in in included in in working Jabba the Hutt. Um, there's one guy for his wow. right arm, one guy for his left arm, one guy for his tail, one guy for his belly, one guy for his head. It, it, it's it's incredible, and uh, and oh, I, I've oh, met most oh, of them. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, the 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 way they they did things back then, I I think is far superior because these three films stand up against any CGI film that that's uh, out there today, I think, in my humble opinion. I think that's amazing, man. Uh, absolutely incredible. Um, so Empire Strikes Back for me, favourite moment in the film, um, I have to agree, the the dinner scene where Darth Vader was sitting back at the table at, um, and the, just, you know, just pushing back the blast. I think that was like, oh, but... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm drawn between two scenes of when Luke found out that Darth Vader was his father. Um, interesting fact, like ha Mark Hamill um, only knew moments before they filmed that scene. He opened the letter and it says, I am your father. He goes, oh, what? You know, and the actual reaction of him actually acting 
he used that to be so surprised because he only knew about that the moment they were like okay here's your father three two one action he's like what (laughs) (laughs) that's awesome that scene alone was awesome the fact that he showed how dark darth vader was just you know he was you know looked like he was trying to kill his son but there again he was trying to keep him alive to take him on board to the dark side so that's why you know in the return of the jedi luke was like i know that you weren't trying to kill me you were holding back so it was actually pretty cool but um my favorite character in the film um this time i it was darth vader that's the way they handled him in this film he was just the absolute best and the that was actually my favorite um darth vader costume in all the films just the way it was done it was incredible so oh man empire strikes back is my favorite star wars film of yes. all time so now um on the last one for today the return of the Jedi. um this is an incredible film um so um steve the wise if that's okay for me to still call you that <laughs> Well, I, I, I've, I've got old Gandalf here, so he, he there can you go. Oh, that, there you go. Pop in you... no, that's good. So, uh, what was your favorite moment in the film? Who was your favorite character? And last question: How has these films impacted this world today? Whoa. <laughs> um, okay, we let, go. Go. I'll ask the last question to you later. <laughs> <laughs> um, Favorite scene is has got to be the the scene where um, where they they are fighting and um, and um, it, it Luke sort of turns the table on Darth and uh, and and he's he's sort of dying and he takes off his mask and what have you um i i i just think that's a a fantastic scene um and for me probably darth vader is is my favorite um character in this because you 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 can see the torment and the struggle of uh, of the character right the way through the film i think um, there's there's little little glimpses of of his humanity there and uh, and and the fact that he he does what he does at the end and uh, everything I just think it's it's an outstanding uh, story uh, it's a story of redemption and uh, and and it basically tells anybody that it, regardless of how bad you've been. Um, you can always turn turn around and, and go the other way. So there we are, getting deep and meaningful with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, did you know? <laughs> well, did you know that uh, the original script for Star Wars originally uh, he wrote it. He wrote all three scripts together as one in the beginning, and then he broke them up in threes. But the original name was actually the tragedy of Darth Vader, or I, it wasn't like Star Wars, but it, like the subtitle was like the tragedy of Darth Vader, because in his mind, Darth Vader is like the main character. And the whole point of it is basically showing how this guy who was the chosen one turned into this, evil guy but then still like through his son ends up getting redemption at the end and i'd like that looking at it that way it gives it so much more weight and i I think it's awesome yeah it's it's in a sense it it could be a biblical story uh and and to all intents and purposes it is a biblical story about redemption and it it it's it's really easy um to to evangelize to somebody who, who's who loves star wars because yeah. all, all you have to do is 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 pan that story right the way through and and tell them well irrespective of what you've done and where you've gone there's there's always this this ability of uh, of redemption sorry phil you you were <laughs> that, no no i was listening going this is amazing <laughs> 
Yeah, so, man, that's awesome. So, um, do I, have I asked you, Hayden? Uh, n- I don't think so. I, I, I am getting old. Uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, so, so, Return of the Jedi. Well, oh, no, sorry. I got one more question for Steve. Sorry. Um, um, Steve, how has these films impacted the world today? I think in your opinion, they've made a, a massive impact. They've impacted the retail world, uh, the cultural world. Um, they they've made an impact right the way across society. I mean, I think everybody knows about Darth Vader. Um, everybody knows, Luke. I am your father, uh, which I actually said to my my last son. Just uh, just after he was born, uh, not Luke, I am my, your father, but Eli, I am your father. Um, yeah. Uh, but I I I just think the impact of the, of these films can't be measured uh, because it's it's impacted every every walk of life. Um, it, it's 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 got an impact on on a, on on a religious connotation on. Um, uh, Monetary connotations in in society as as a as a, a yeah total. It, I mean, it it's almost single handedly birthed a a, a a a new sort of genre of of people into collecting and and uh, and and what have you. It the you could go on and on and on um, with with how yeah. it's how it's changed the culture of 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 the earth effectively that's amazing um i think you gave one of the best answers i've ever asked so many people about that so thank you steve the wise um (laughs) (laughs) Um, so now hayden um so the return of the jedi what was your favorite moment in the film and who was your favorite character Ooh, that's a good one uh, I would say I'm gonna serve the character this time. You know, change things up. I would say my favorite character in Return of the Jedi is actually Luke because I love how he's like. You get to watch how at first he's like the ignorant kid who's like just getting into it and he's still figuring it out. And in Empire, he starts to get it, but he's still, you know. And then all of a sudden, you get to Return of the Jedi and he's like the dude, and he's got his all black suit, and now he's got a green lightsaber, and he's just the coolest dude. I really like luke in that way because now like you get to see him fully develop but you also get like what you said earlier like he still cares for his father and he's like on a mission to also save vader or anakin i guess depending on how you would refer to him but i really like luke i think he's really cool i love the beginning scene when he does all like the flips and like darth i mean not darth vader r2d2 shoots him the lightsaber and he grabs it and all that that's cool but i would say my favorite scene is the end when um Darth Vader is watching Luke be electrocuted to death, basically, by the Emperor. And you get to watch Darth Vader. And what's so awesome is, like, Darth Vader's wearing a mask the entire time. So, like, his face doesn't show any emotions. But the scene does so well to show, like, you know what Vader is thinking just by his body language. Like, because you can't see his eyes. You can't see his... he He doesn't have a frown or anything. He's just looking at him. But you know that something's going on in him. And then he realizes that he can't watch this happen and he grabs the emperor and like he's basically like being killed and then throws the emperor right down the right down the shaft which in my opinion that the emperor died like i don't care what the last star wars said like rise of skywalker like you know i mean i don't care but i was like but that was my favorite scene of all time i think it was just so good because it's like it's emotional and it's like but it's also epic i think it's really good I think that um, you hit it out of the ballpark there, man. I think that was awesome. Um, I think when you could tell Vader, um, you know, you know, you, when you could see the emotion in the suit, you can see he's always straight, but his body language changed. Like, yes. you could see his arm and his head, like, move. And I think that was really cool. So, um, so I got another question for you, Hayden. So, um, let me just the laptop likes to work um how have um these films impacted the world today well i mean i feel like i can't give a better answer than steve so i feel like you know trying to <laughs> like the youngest guy trying to follow up the wisest guy i don't know but i'll i'll give my best so let's just assume like i'll agree with everything that 
that uh, Steve said, and then I'll try to add like a little bit. I would say, I would say it gave. I we kind of talked about this in a couple episodes ago, or either last last episode. I would say the thing that Star Wars impacted the most is if you look at. Let's go back to like a New Hope. If you look at the movies that were coming out at that time, you have a lot of movies that were influenced by how people saw the world at that time. So there was like a lot of movies coming out from like the Vietnam War, and there was this very cynical view and almost like a hopeless view of reality and and so all these movies and even like a lot of the sci-fi movies that came out before star wars are like bleak and they have those twist endings that are like uh or even i love planet of the apes but planet of the apes is one of the most depressing movies (laughs) when you get to the end because you're like oh no but like so like we had all these movies and people would watch stories and those don't really like inspire you you know like those are just like oh dang it like i already knew we live in a bleak world like i don't need to be told that again you know what i mean but star wars comes along and all of a sudden you still have these really bad forces who are out there like trying to wipe people out and like do horrific things and yet at the same time you have a hopeful message and all of them even though like empire doesn't really end on a real hopeful message because it's more of like an interlude like it's a bridge between a new hope and return of the jedi but even like return of the jedi ends in a great way because it's not only do the good guys win but the bad guy is redeemed too and i think it's like really cool and i would say a new hope blew up the way it did from what i know of like what was going on going on at the time and watching documentaries about it is there's so much hopelessness and all of a sudden a new hope comes on it's literally in the name a new hope and it's like i think so many people were like desperately hung like hungering for that and when it came along they're like wow you know yeah that's what i think yeah I think I, it's, it's, that, that was a really good answer. i find it really interesting that that punk came along at the roughly the same sort of time as uh star wars new hope and and punk was the new hope for for music and it, it oh, okay it, it showed that um there was there was just a bleakness to 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 music and and yeah. you you had a new hope it hit in the cinemas at the same sort of time and and they both just excuse the expression took the world by the by the balls and and <laughs> <laughs> and, and and give them a a, a, a good squeeze to, to invigorate <laughs> some some life into it. That, that that's the only way I can explain it. But it, it was it it's it's really interesting that that um that the punk revolutionized uh the the music industry and, and Star Wars revolutionized the, the film industry. So uh, that's awesome. I'm almost out of time then so I'll yeah. just quickly um rush in. Um so the film for me, the favorite moment was um, the battle with uh, Jabba the Hutt. I think that was awesome. Just the way how Luke came in and battled with that creature. It was awesome. It was amazing. Um, but how R2-D2 pushed the lightsaber out and then uh, they, yeah, it was, it was awesome. I loved it. Just the way that the film was handled. I loved every moment. Um, I think my favorite character was Luke. You know, it was awesome to see how he has grown with the Force. You could see that he has matured in so many ways. And, you know, when he figured out who his father was, you know, what decision he needs to make. And, you know, the fact that he's just grown was amazing. Um, I think how the film, cha- you know, changed the world today, um, like, you know, how, how it's impacted the world today, I should say. I don't know. It, I see these young kids walking with a Darth Vader mask and it's like these kids want to be them. And, you know, you can see um, a lot of people that have been hurt over the years, feel depression, hurt. They look up to these characters in the film and it's like what you said, Steve, um, people try and find a source of hope in these movies and, you know, it gives them courage and strength. And, you know, when I was young, I had this kid in primary school when I was around seven years old, he was getting bullied. And he um, had one of those long hair strips. And I asked him, why do you have that? He goes, 
oh, because that's what the Jedi's have. And um, I, I was like, that's awesome. And we actually became good friends. And um, it's amazing how people can look up to this film and, you know, find ways to get better with a, a lot of their own hurt or, you know, bullying or whatever emotional um, issues people are going through. But as you said, it can be turned into the gospel. It's amazing. But um, I think we might have to um, wrap this up. So, hey, guys, this is been amazing to chat about this today um it's been cool and you know steve you had so many amazing things to say and your mate who was darth vader man that was incredible that's awesome um, thank you for sharing uh, hopefully we can have him on here as a guest maybe one day <laughs> uh, yeah he, yeah i'm 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 afraid he's uh he's got dementia um so oh. he's he's forgotten uh, an awful lot of what he did, um, which which is a, a sad sad thing. Yeah, uh, that that's what happening to a, a lot of the the guys now. They they're getting older and uh, and and they're getting iller and and, and they're dying. But that's that's the way of the world. Um, that's it. I've 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 probably got some some stuff somewhere um, recorded of. Uh, interviews i've done with dave but uh i've got some really really good memories with with dave over the years that's incredible man but hey thanks for everything man and hayden that was awesome to have a chat with you as well and the answers that you gave um thank you yes, for watching you. the comic book guys thank you for watching um the comic book guys any questions on um, that you have on the youtube write down or even on the facebook page will be cool but uh, before we go i got one thing i thought it would be great i wanted to do a little competition um, I want, um yeah i i want to give out a free limited edition um it's valued up to two hundred dollars um I first wanted. edition <laughs> Yeah, um, the first edition Superman comic. I thought it would be great to have a little competition on the Sanctuary page. Um, write down what you love about this video and um, all of the guys here can select the person and I'll, I'll be glad to pay and send it out to you. So it will be cool. But hey, thank you for watching the comic book, guys. Take care. Bye.